Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maca here, continuing with Wolfenstein Youngblood. This is the second mission called Riverside. Now, at the end of the mission, there is a subway system, which makes me believe that there is a way to revisit this area later on in the game, but I'm not 100% confident in that just yet. Keep that in mind. Additionally, in this video, I will be showing concepts, which I believe is linked to an achievement or trophy for opening all the red boxes. Another note I wanted to make is that some of the collectibles in this mission do require us to have the crush ability under power for our character, so keep that in mind. And in the bottom left hand corner, you will see the number of the collectible based on the menu of the game, not based on the order of which we are picking them up, which is why our first pair of 3D glasses is technically 3D glasses 3, as in the menu, they will be in the third slot. For additional names and info on every single collectible we pick up, uh, check out the YouTube time links in the description below. Now, the Riverside mission has a total of 26 collectibles to grab, starting off with that first one I showed you, and the second one, after clearing out all this area down the long hall, you can find a readable inside this back corner before you open up this door and proceed to the main objective. I will obviously take care of all of the enemies uh, before going for collectibles. At the top of the stairs, turn to the left to find the next readable. From there, you can open up either the left or the right door and proceed into the next area. I decided to use the left door and again have taken care of all of the enemies in this area. As you get to the top of the stairs, turn left and hug the wall. Just past the fire hydrant, you can find 3D glasses. This is actually going to count as number one. There are quite a few collectibles in this area, so we will proceed from the previous location and then go through into the back courtyard here in the far corner. You can find our first UVK cover. Then we can proceed down the hall and turn left. Here's where we'll need that crush ability that I told you about. So I'm going to show you where you can find it. It's under characters, power, and it's the second one here. It will cost you five upgrade points. But once you do that, you can sprint through this a thin metal door and into this red crate. The password for this one is 9576. We'll find that out from the floppy disk a little bit later, but inside you'll find some silver coins as well as concept art and some XP for your character. Then we can turn around and head up the stairs that are nearby in order to get into the commander's office or the commander quarters. And inside here, as you enter to the right hand side, find your next readable. There are more collectibles to go in this area, so if you stay in this room and go towards the desk, on the desk, you can find the floppy disk, which I have already picked up, unfortunately, but you can trust me that it is right there. Then you can turn around 180 degrees while standing at this table and find the cassette tape on the back cabinet. Make sure you pick that up as well. From the cassette, we'll want to work our way towards our objective, and before going through the door to the next area, we'll want to pick up the 3D Glasses 2 collectible, found in the back left corner next to our objective. These 3D glasses are tubular, dude. From here, we are ready to proceed into the next area. So stack up on the door with your co-op partner and hey, open it up for both of you guys to get through. Once both of you are through, you're basically going to just follow the hallway and near the end of the hallway before going through the locked door, look to your right hand side to find some mailboxes and you should find a readable sticking out of one and you can easily and quickly grab it. After mailing the lock on the door and probably taking care of some enemies in this next area, you can walk forward and then go up the ladder to the right hand side right here. As you get to the top of this walkway, you should be able to find a floppy disk right at the end of it. The floppy disk uh, reader is also in this area. I won't be reading floppy disks for the majority of this guide, as you don't actually need to decode them for them to count. You will find out some useful information though from them if you so desire, so I'll leave you to do that on your own if you want. After that floppy disk, jump up on the box and then go inside the apartments. You can loop around, but this is a lot faster, and then as soon as you get inside, find the cassette tape on the table directly in front of you. Then what we can do is loop around and find another red box. Unfortunately, I opened this one off camera, but the code for this one is 2703, and you can find that out from looking at the floppy disk that we decoded earlier about the Riverside uh, crates. So you'll open it up, and then inside of that crate, you will find concept art number two. We can then jump down into the main courtyard. There are a lot of enemies, and this is pretty much the big major fight of the area. I've taken care of all of them, obviously. 
But as you jump down, you should see a yellow mailbox behind a broken down car where you can find a readable. Now this whole area is kind of one big giant loop, but we'll do it in a kind of specific order here. So you'll see that there is a shop called the Megatone, and you want to double jump your way onto the roof to find a small nook. There's a little secret room in here with a bunch of ammo, some silver coins, as well as a collectible, which is the UVK cover that we want to grab, most importantly. Then what we can do is jump out the window, turn left, and then jump down. As we jump down, turn around to look into the shop. You'll see some drums and then a jukebox. Next to that jukebox is a pair of 3D glasses. You will need to melee through the window in order to quickly pick them up though. Then from here, we can basically continue down the alley we are currently standing in, away from where we started in the area, and double jump up onto this box and then double jump again onto this kind of roof in order to find 3D glasses sitting on the table right there or the chair. From these 3D glasses, you can pan slightly to your right hand side to find a red box. The code for this one is 1234, which we found from a floppy disk earlier in the mission. Open it up in order to find the next piece of concept art inside. This should be 3 for 3 for the mission. Then what we can do is continue down this alley, and we will find more enemies to shoot, which I have already taken care of. But there is a fountain as we enter, and behind that fountain, there is a readable on a park bench. Pick it up. I'll just read now what we have to do text. is kind of backtrack away from the main objective right now. This is one big loop, so we're kind of looping back to where we came from. But if you turn left from that park bench, you'll notice some stairs that lead downward. Halfway down, you can find a floppy disk on the right-hand side. This one's out of order. This is our fourth floppy disk, but this is number three according to the menu of the game. Continue further down the stairs, and then we'll start looping back towards that central area, finding a 3D pair of glasses on the right-hand side table next to a fire. Then go to your main objective. You'll notice that there are some enemies that start attacking you, which I've taken care of. You'll enter in this train car area. Go past the drop pod and find a pair of 3D glasses on the table. This is number 7, according to the in-game menu. Then two or three tables down from those 3D glasses, you can find readable number seven on a table next to some mustard. Then what we can do is go on to the train car next to the stairs. We will need the crush ability here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double jump and then press B to slam down in order to get inside of the train car. And then we can find 3D glasses number eight. 8 of 8 and 8 according to the menu. And then what we can do is jump down the staircase and proceed as if we're going to the exit of the mission to find readable number 8 in the corner right here. We can then use the metro yeah, system map rude. in order to continue with the story if we so desire. If you want to double check all your collectibles, you can notice them mission by mission. If you go to collectibles menu, you'll see that there's a riverside kind of tab and an overall tab. So use that to make sure and double check you have everything. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like on the video. See you in the next video. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. See you soon. Peace.